Hello everyone. Now, in this video, I am going to discuss how to construct a regular polygon of given side length using general method 2. In the previous video also, I discussed a construction of a polygon using general method 1. But in this tutorial, I am showing an alternate general method to construct a polygon. Whichever you feel better, you can use it. Now, in this tutorial, I am going to use hexagon for my construction of side 50 mm. Here are the steps to construct a polygon. Okay, let's dip into the steps. First one, draw a line AB equals to given side length. Okay, take the command line L, enter, select first point, length is 50 mm. Okay, actually the color is here. I'll make it to by layer. Let it be normal. Yes, done. First point is draw a line AB equals to given side length 50 mm. Let's activate the command text. Start point, height as 5, rotation angle as 0. Yeah, command is, sorry, text is A. Here I am just, I made a rough text and then I keep it as other because I am going to use it frequently. Select Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Paste it here, Ctrl V. Paste it here. B. Done. We drawn a line AB of 50 mm. And now draw a perpendicular OP to AB at midpoint of AB. So this is the line AB at the from the at the midpoint I need to draw a perpendicular line OP. Okay, take a line, identify the midpoint. Yes, from here draw a perpendicular. Finished. Now let us name it as OP. Control C, Control V. O P done. Okay. Now the third point is draw a semicircle of radius O B with O as center. So you can see that with this as center, I need to draw a semicircle. To draw this one, I can use two methods. Tag the circle C, enter, specify center point make it here tr trim double enter trim the portion see with o as center and ob as radius i constructed a semicircle using the circle command this is method one otherwise take arc a enter center point type c enter choose the center point of the arc as o start point of arc is b you can see the specify end point of arc. Right now 90 degrees is there. To make it as a semicircle, I need to give 180. Enter. So you can construct a semicircle using the circle command or arc method. Whichever you feel better, you can use it. Yes. Now the fourth point you can see here mark the intersection point of semicircle AB and OP as 4. You can see that. This is the OP and semicircle AB. Now, Control C, Control V, and this intersection point I am marking it as 4. This intersection point I am marking it as 4. So, for identification, first P type, enter. Choose this cross mark, don't use any other, either this one or this one. Size of the unit cell, absolute units 3. Okay. Now to mark this point, PO, enter. Yes. Perfectly, we finished. Done. Fifth point, draw an arc of radius. AB with either A or B as center intersecting the perpendicular line OP. Okay, let's see that. Take arc A, enter, 
specify center point C enter you can choose either A or B as your center right now I am taking it as A specify start point of arc you can see that in the step they ask you to go for the radius AB so specify start point as this one if you move see just click here the arc starts from here and intersects here and now again I am marking this point as intersection point perfect and mark the point as 6 control C control V done now find the midpoint of 4 and 6 and mark it as 5 already we discussed in the previous video also so what I am going to do is that first let me break this line BR break at point select one otherwise simply you can do one thing instead of break at point especially in this method take the trim command TR double enter trim it now we got 4 and 6 instead of using break at point especially in this method you can go for trim now PO identify the midpoint done and now mark it as 5 control C control V So 4, 5, 6 we completed. You can see that mark the point 6, 7, 8 on OP such that 4, 5, 5, 6. So this is the line OP. So instead of marking what I am going to do is that I will measure and I will construct the lines. You know that DI distance measurement. Enter from here to here 9.15. Once again DI from here to here 9.15 so the distance is equal now what I am going to do is that take the line 9.15 take the line once again 9.15 repeatedly you can construct how many parts you want ok PO enter choose the end point of the line yeah when a square box appears end point again point end point yes control c control v seven done so successfully we marked all the points 4 5 6 7 8 if you want to measure you can see di 9.15 so perfectly everything is ready now draw a circumcircle with the center 6 and radius 6a or 6p why I chosen center 6 because we are drawing a hexagon so if you want to draw a hexagon choose the center as 6 if you want to draw a pentagon choose the center as 5 square means 4 octagon means 8 so this is how it works now in this question hexagon so that's why we are taking the circle center point as this one radius as 6a center point as 6 and radius as 6a and now with center B I need to draw an arc which cuts this circle you can see that with center B and radius AB draw an arc cutting the circumcircle and make and mark the intersecting point as C as already we saw in the previous video A for arc enter C for center select the B as center point deactivate the ortho mode means press effect 
yeah now you can see yes radius ab is 50 enter cut the arc now this intersection point i am marking it as c control c control v c again arc a enter c enter choose this point 50 radius cut the arc arc a c for center select this point radius 50 cut the arc a for arc c for center specify the center point radius as 50 cut the arc a for arc c for center specify center point radius 50 you can see that perfectly from here it intersects at the point or vertex a means we did it perfect now it's time to mark the intersection points control c control v done already a b c we marked it i am renaming it as d i am renaming it as e I'm renaming it as F. So these division points are nothing but the vertex of the polygon. Already AB we finished. Now it's time to connect all the marked points with the lines from B to division 2. Sorry, it's not division 2. It's all about A. B to A. Done. So A to B already is there. Take the line. B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to A. Yes. Now we completed the required polygon. So here I am writing the required polygon A, B, C, D, E, F is formed. It's time to give the line weight to the required polygon. Only the required polygon. Remaining everything is construction lines. Don't give line weight. Yes. I mean choosing it as 0.4. And I'm applying the color red for the required polygon. I'm deleting this extra. Okay, sorry. just wait sorry yeah actually this is the point P we need to keep it here perpendicular line OP Because this is mandatory because we said perpendicular op perfect now let us give the line weight we'll also give the line weight line weight display on now 
that's it we form a regular polygon so if you want if there in the question if they ask about the construction of a polygon use the same procedure just by keeping the center as 5 for pentagon 6 for hexagon 7 for heptagon 8 for octagon nanagon means draw one more line and you will get the nine lines that's it okay we forget to give the dimension aligned d a l d a l for inclined one and point 50 sufficient enough only one side is sufficient that's it guys we constructed a regular polygon using a general method